I love sex. I love making love. But the, 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 there's a distinction between the two. I think when you make pain in love, it's when you also put your feelings and your heart and you actually appreciate and give praise uh, to the moment. Well, usually I learn more from my sheep than from books, he answered. During the two hours that they talked, she told him she was the merchant's daughter and spoke of life in the village, where each day was like all the others. A shepherd told her of the Andalusian countryside and related the news from the other towns where he had stopped. It was a pleasant change from talking to his sheep. We have to be prepared for change, he thought, and he was grateful for the jacket's weight and warmth. The, the couple of things about defining addiction is that the person becomes preoccupied with the substance or the behavior um, and um, so the, and, and becomes quite obsessive about it. Um, and then there um, becomes um, a loss of control. Um, and the person, and this is also um, followed by uh, attempts to control the behavior or um, attempts to stop it or um, which usually fails um, and attempts to cut down the behavior. something with sex. Maybe it's not sex. Maybe it's a fascination with two organs meeting the wetness, the fluids, and just the feeling you get if it's someone you're attracted to. Um, I would do it day in, day out, every hour if I could, even on breaks and lunches, given the opportunity. After all, we're all here because of sex. You know, I don't know if I'm an addict or not. I love reading. I actually call myself a bookworm. So I started reading as a child, like before I even actually went to primary school. And my dad used to make me read his newspapers with him, so yeah. And then I had my first library card at seven years. Great two. Yeah. I broke my virginity when I was twenty years old. And uh, by the time I broke it, um, it was firstly with a woman and then after it was with males so ever since then i think i've discovered something that i haven't thought existed for a long time even though i used to masturbate and even though i used to play house as a kid but mm, i think uh, unleashing my sexual freedom actually allowed me to see other worlds that existed that i never thought existed when you take a substance um or when you um like you can be um, enjoying something, you can have it, use a substance and enjoy it, or you can act out sexually and enjoy it, or gamble, or whatever. What happens is that the brain releases a combination of neurochemicals, which include dopamine, which is the main pleasure uh, chemical neurotransmitter, uh, adrenaline for the high and the excitement, um, oxytocin, which is for connection, um, and a variety of endorphins. Now, that makes people feel good. But here's the question that I actually keep on asking myself. Am I an addict? Because maybe there's such a thing as overreading, but I don't feel like I am. Or maybe I'm in denial. Okay. So, um, the question asked, when do addicts, you know, realize that they have a problem and should seek help, is the million dollar question. Because often they don't realize that they have a problem, and it's the people around them who can see that they've got a problem. Or else they kind of, they, they, they sort of know that they've got a problem, but they think they've got it under control. And that's the biggest part of denial. And denial being a defense mechanism um, says, it's okay, I can handle this. The connotations that are mostly linked to is that, um, well, it's like this. 
So the connotations of um, loving sex sometimes is that people get to dub you as a bitch. People get to make assumptions uh, because of um, screwing so much that uh, you are, um, I don't know, you are loose in a way and uh, it becomes tricky when the very same person who says this is the very same person you have sex with day in day out. But because of insecurities and because of uh, fears that the, pe uh, the person has by themselves, then they get to draw on what the society teaches, teaches them. And once you cross the line, there's, there's no going back. Like, you become addicted.